Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We all know we're near the end game on FIFA 23. We've got a market that is cheap. We've got EAFC 24 trailers and leaks in the news and constant complaints that FIFA is dead. But there's one staple of end game content that hasn't happened yet, but it's starting to get talked about now and it's a bit surprising how early we're starting to see these leaks especially because of the time of the year that we normally see this type of content we're going to talk about all of that in today's video and actually a good amount of SBC content could be dropping on fifa today on wednesday so we're going to dive into that as well if you're excited for the video drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new now before we get into all that let's take a look at yesterday's content because there was one staple of yesterday's content that was uh kind of what we asked for and player sbc is what we talked about in the last two days we wanted something to craft right we mentioned that in both of the last two videos EA Sports delivered. Wow, a flashback Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Now, there's a lot of controversy with this SBC. You can see 74% downvoted. And guys, I think the downvotes here are 100% because of the price. It's 350, 360,000 coins to do. He doesn't have 99 pace. He does have five-star skills, though. And to be honest, I did this SBC because Aubameyang in FIFA is like always over Powered. I mean, every time that I've used this card, he just feels overpowered. He's got his own unique body type. I'm excited to try him out. I did the SBC almost right away. Also because I had a lot of fodder from duplicates. And I think that is one of the reasons why we talked about wanting a player SBC to craft those 80 plus triples and 81 plus player picks and all the fodder packs that are in objectives right now just give out so much fodder. So to me, this is a decent card. The price, yeah, it is a little bit steep. But to be completely honest, a lot of people are doing this SBC, guys. Take a look at prices on the market, especially on some strikers. I want to show you guys a few prices that dropped a lot yesterday. We actually started trading a bit yesterday, and I'll talk about that a bit more uh, in the video, kind of just working the market a bit again. But some Premier League strikers and just strikers in the game in general that are around that, you know, four, five, six hundred thousand coin range, because this Aubameyang is coming in a little bit cheaper than those, a lot of people sold off cards yesterday to try out um, and to get this Aubameyang SBC completed, right? Pushka's foot birthday was one that went from about 550,000 coins all the way down to 480. He's bounced back up. There were a ton of striker cards yesterday that went down in price. And on the other side, there were a lot of Chelsea cards that went up in value, one of which I want to show you right now. Enzo Fernandez was probably one of the cards that moved the most yesterday. The 92 that is on the market went from like 500,000 coins, had a quick spike all the way to like 600k right here, and then kind of started to come back down. But Chelsea cards in general across this game went up. Even cards like Joao Felix Shapeshifters, who's one right now 1.5 million coins. That's a rarity spike for sure. He was 1.2 mil yesterday. Kind of had a rise about the 1.3 highs. Even some of your other cheaper cards, Kula Bali. A lot of your Chelsea links are up, right? That's the premise. Oh my gosh, 125K. He was 90,000 coins yesterday before this SBC came out. Look at that rise there. And then also you have some of your like heroes and some of these shapeshifter premium cards. Oh my gosh, man. Look at Zaha. 260 now for this card. I sold him at 240 yesterday. He was 215,000 coins. So people are doing this Aubameyang SBC. And I really think it's because it's finally a craftable SBC that is out there. It's not terrible value. And it's a five-star skills Aubameyang. And guys, let's be honest. Aubameyang is also just kind of like a FIFA legend, right? I think back to one of the first TOTS cards I ever packed in any FIFA, FIFA 17, TOTS Aubameyang, absolutely cracked card. He had the ones to watch, I think in FIFA 18 it might have been, um, and then he's had a, some pretty good cards after that, but... This is just a card that's with unique body type, with the five-star skills. It's a fun one, and it's not that tough to do, even though the price tag looks a bit daunting. So that was the biggest part of content yesterday, and it did impact the market a lot. Now, also yesterday, we had ourselves a brand new objective for Foot Champs, a Foot Champs bonus objective, and uh, it's kind of nice. I like this one better than any of the objectives that have dropped before because... It's a lot easier to complete the league-specific sections of this. La Liga 4 and League 1 4. That's a lot easier than doing one main league and then like the Saudi League or MLS like we were talking about and they never did. League 1 and La Liga, 
That's actually pretty easy, right? I mean, think about all the teams you've been playing with for milestones with, for the level up your games, right? You have to have six players from a certain club or six players from a certain nation, probably. And that's kind of continuing with this foot champs bonus objective. So really a W there. I'm going to go play some rivals and get my quality points and then go through this, of course, and, you know, get those extra packs W right for those objective packs there. And then technically, I think this might've been a new pack yesterday. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I think I missed it before if it wasn't available then, but there was a new replay pack, a 400,000 coin replay pack, which gives out three players from Todd's Tots Moments or Trophy Titans, all 92 plus, all untradeable. Once again, guys, I'll say the same thing I said yesterday. These replay packs are not it unless you really want to gamble. Like getting three players instead of, you know, like 60 from the other 400k pack or however many it is, like it's really not worth that gamble unless you really just want to gamble. So that was all of yesterday's content. And like I said, we got busy on the market. Now, the reason why I got busy on the market a little bit was because um, after doing the Abamyang, after opening the 500k pack yesterday, I was or two days ago, I was kind of like, man, I kind of have the itch to go and grind Renato Sanchez. And I know it's a big undertaking, um, but through co-op, being able to do it with some friends, guys from the stream, um, I was really tempted to just go ahead and do this. Now, the thing is, I'm short on coins, right? Renato is 6.6 .6 million coins right now, 6.54. They're just, all these level up cards, as we'll talk about in this video too, they're really just kind of hanging in value. Their prices are really just stagnant, right? A couple of fluctuations yesterday, KDB, Davies, the Enzo we looked at, uh, Werner had a bit of a rise, but a lot of these guys are just kind of in the same range that they have been. Now, I still think there's going to be at least one more drop off before we get to Friday, whether it comes today on Wednesday, if we start getting leaks about team two of, of level up, or maybe it's going to come tomorrow on Thursday, if we get more, you know, supply from rivals rewards, supply from marquee matchups and the leaks on top of that. I don't know. I feel like there is a bit more uh, of drop to still come on these cards. It may not be crazy, but like maybe Davies goes to like eight, 30, 840. Maybe Renato Sanchez goes to like 6.2 or 6.3 mil, you know, that sort of thing. Like just another slight drop before these guys go out of packs. And we're going to keep monitoring the scenario very closely because I know personally, I'm interested in doing more of these cards even during next week when hopefully we'll be able to combine them with a team two of level up with more objectives. But I started trading yesterday because I want to get up to the coins so I can buy this Renato. And uh, we actually made, I think, about 400,000 coins. I was about 5.5, 5.6 mil. Um, bought a Ronaldo, got a lucky snipe for 1.2. Got a lot of like 30, 40 K profits in here. Um, you know, like R9 was about 50 K. I sold the Zaha too early, sold Gabriel Jesus too early, got a really good snipe on him. So uh, guys, I was just doing that as well on the market. And we're going to trade some more today, kind of calling it like road to Renato, right? The market is so easy to trade on right now. So, so easy because there's just nobody doing it and very few people doing it. And some of these cards that are very, very rare, they just have amazing fluctuations every single day. So I wanted to point that out for you guys. If you want to trade right now, out of pack special cards, any budget, get on bids, get on snipes. Team of the seasons are great to trade with as well because they're getting supplied. But without further ado, let's get into the meat of today's video and talk about this end game kind of content that we're starting to get a taste of, right? And maybe this is coming today. Maybe it's not for a couple of days down the road. And this could definitely shake up the market a bit. But it all started with this leak right here. Alexis McAllister is coming as a moment's SBC soon. Stats are predicted. Now, the real big thing here is this is a transfer player card with a moment's SBC. This is not a new concept, right? This is something that we look to see every single year towards the end of the year as FIFA is coming to a close. And it's early, man. Like, this is very, very early. In fact, this is still July 12th today, right? I'm pretty sure last year in Foot 22, the first like transfer player card that we had in the summer for the big summer transfer window was the Darwin Nunez Christian Eriksen showdown, which came during the preseason promo, which was after footies in the middle of August, August 19th. We are a whole month ahead of time and we already have transfer cards being added as SBCs in leaks. Now, this comes a day after as well, seeing Alexis McAllister and multiple other transferred players in the EAFC trailer. So does this have something to do with EA saying, kind of like flexing their muscles and saying, hey guys, we've got control over this game now more than we ever did before. So we're going to be able to release transferred cards since we have, um, you know, direct 
um, correlations and we've got um, signed up with these clubs directly instead of just being signed on to the FIFA license. Maybe it's a little bit of that. I don't entirely know. And we did, we don't know when this SBC is coming out, right? The leaks recently have been very like close to the leak time. Like the actual SBC is dropping in the game. Aubameyang was leaked yesterday and he was dropped as an SBC a couple of hours later, right? So we have this McAllister leak. When are we going to see the McAllister SBC in the game? It's really hard to guess and to know. Um, I would have to imagine that it would be soon based off of how we've seen the leaks, but I could also see it maybe being a couple of days and maybe this isn't going to be until the footies promo and it's a very, very early leak. And maybe, you know, Sheriff is getting a little bit confused with something that's been added to the code because McAllister is in the FC trailer. I don't know. There's a lot of things that are flowing around in my mind with what this could be, but you take it for what it is. It's an SBC player leak. And that's pretty dope, right? GG's to EA because, again, like I said, last year the first time that we saw these cards added as transfer cards was like August, right? Late to mid-August. The 99 Lewandowski. We had the Erling Holland, the Gabriel Jesus. We had so many cards last year um, that were really sick. And hopefully this means we're just going to get more this year and more spread out. This really makes it more interactive during a summer transfer window where a lot of players are moving. This really brings a lot of hype. Now, what is this McAllister card going to look like? 86 rated this world cup version is his most recent special card he hasn't had anything since this card with the of course lovely dynamic image of him holding the world cup trophy four star five or four star three star hopefully his new card has five star skills that's what i was kind of getting at there because this is a very like center attacking mid-esque card also could be used as a box to box maybe a high medium work rate change maybe a high high EA could go a lot of ways with this card, but I really hope they give him about, about 90 pace and the five-star skills because his dribbling, passing, and shooting are probably going to be cracked. And of course, with the Liverpool links in the Premier League, that's going to be just a fun card to have to try out. A lot of Premier League hype right now, if you think about it. All the cards we've had recently, a lot of SBCs, you know, had the Sterling, now the Aubameyang, now this McAllister League. If it is coming very soon, this could be very interesting. And once again, this would be another great SBC with the absolutely insane upgrade pack grind that we have right now with 81 plus player picks, the level up crafting upgrade. I've completed Savernier and I'm still doing these because these are such good value and it's out for nine days still. So maybe be a bit careful with upgrades because we're probably going to get another level up crafting upgrade player uh, next week with level up team number two. But this upgrade pack being here right now is absolutely fantastic. And again, another reason why this player SBC for McAllister would be very nice uh, in right now on this menu grind because the grind is just so great and it'd be so great to craft. So those are all my thoughts there, guys. This just opens the door though, right? For more transfer cards. If this is going to be the first one that we see pretty soon, think about other players that we saw in the EAFC trailer that were added already as transfers. Jude Bellingham, right? He was a main player and a main face that we saw in that trailer he's got a 97 rated card already of course transferred to real madrid is he going to be a 98 rated moments sbc would ea maybe save him for a little bit later in the summer james madison for tottenham right um a transfer that was in the trailer as well that i was so surprised to even see in the trailer as it was just like a week or two ago that he was transferred and there may have even been another transfer or two that i missed in the video but Guys, that's that's big, right? This is really, really big because that's a part of endgame content that we love to see every single year. And if they're releasing it earlier this year, that's just sick because that means there's more time and more potential that we have to use these transferred cards in FIFA and enjoy them before the year end. Like, you know, last year when they dropped the Manchester City, Manchester City Erling Holland or the Lewandowski at Bayern or at, um, Barca, it's like, oh, sick. This is the end of August. So I have like two weeks to play with this card before the new uh, EA game comes out. Well, this year, if they're going to do it here pretty soon, that's just really hype. That adds on to it. So enough talk about that. But there's a lot of hype building there. And that's a really big piece of endgame content that we look forward to every single year. And I hope that it's coming soon. I really do, guys. Because that's content that's like outside of the level up promo. And I'm completely fine with that. Now, speaking of content, let's roll it in and talk about today on Wednesday. As I said, there's a couple SBCs that are refreshing. Of course, the 83 times 25 is set to refresh today, right? 85 and 86 rated squads require inside of this a decent value craft. If you've got that fodder in there, make sure you get it stocked up and ready to go. Or if you don't have it, get it stocked up. Open some packs if you need to. 81 plus player picks. Again, 80 times three is great for fodder. And then also today, the 93 plus tots or shapeshifters player pick expires. It doesn't refresh 
but it expires. Could it or another SBC like this return today? I think that would be very smart of EA because we all like good content and packs like this are just so fun to have at this time of the year. Anyway, we need to have a player pick like this every single week. I like this one. I think it's good. I like how it refreshes every couple of days. EA literally just refresh this SBC as it's expiring today. Drop a new one in there with the exact same requirements. Remember, 88 and 90 rated squads. So if you do think it's going to come back today, maybe you go and take a look at the higher rated fodder on the market because, yes, it is up a little bit, but it would definitely go a bit higher. You know what I'm specifically watching for would be Team of the Season cards, guys. Team of the Season cards, last time this SBC came out, I think we're like 25K. Um, if we take a look at the 14-day graph for like Otamendi, when this came out, I think, yeah, this is, I think, when these guys went to, like, 30K. Oh, last Wednesday, exactly, 17K for Otomendi. You made the 25,000 coins, and then it refreshed on the weekend, and it went up to 30K. Now they've kind of dripped, dropped back down a bit, but that's a bit of an investment that would probably be um, the highest return on investment if you're going to try to gamble for that pack or another pack like that returning today. Um, that's, again, a gamble, but... That's an investment that you could make because the team of the season cards, not the moments, the team of the season cards have been added in SBC requirements a lot more than TOTS or TOTS moments. Um, and for, for that matter, I think all these cards are 21,000 coins for especially some of the higher rated ones. I would buy the highest rated TOTS card for 21K that you possibly can, which looks like right now, actually, you can get 92 rated TOTS cards for 22,000 coins. That might not be a bad shout because, you mean, you go pick up a Seiko Fofana for like 22, 23K, which of course he's the cheapest one, so he's not showing up right now. He's in all the solutions. Joao Mario is another 92 rated Tots card. You pick one of those up at 22, 23K. Yo, Footbin, you're telling me these guys are 23K. Why are they not on the market, man? 24K? Okay, well, you guys get the idea, right? Some of these higher rated 91, 92 rated Tots cards might be something to look into here in the next day or so with an SBC like that potentially refreshing. And then once again, like talking about um, the market. Oh, actually, before we do that, objectives, really quick objectives. We had a free player last week with, um, what's it called? Yeah, the, the shapeshifters upside down. We've had that the past few weeks. It's like this kind of replaced silver stars. Are we going to get somebody today as a part of level up or some sort of other player in here? Because shapeshifters is over. I'm really curious about what happens there because we've had a, a free player in here. We had quick links, remember? Um, and then we had the other, the English center attacking mid. And then we had Taylor Booth. Will we get something else in there today? Not sure, but watch out for that. And then, uh, yeah, the market continues to just be a very interesting place with the level up cards. And I'm really, really watching these. I know a lot of you guys are as well um, for a rise out of packs. And I think I just have to see a drop before I get interested in trying to buy for potentially holding and completing an objective. I see Renato right now is like 6.5, 6.6. I feel like there's got to be something that would, it would incite maybe a little bit of price drop on some of these guys. KDB is still like 11.3 mil. Cavani um, and some of these guys are all really cheap, right? Alfonso Davies, I know a lot of you guys want to get him done as well. And he's like 900K, right? If, if Alfonso drops back down to like 820, 830, maybe even 850 is going to be his next lowest point. I think there's good potential there um, before these guys go out of packs. We're just going to have to be careful with them, of course, and see the ones that will be easily combined and have a lot of hype with the links to whatever SBC players come out in the team two for this promo are probably going to rise the most. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. A lot of prem is very hype right now. Um, and KDB is the only prem card that's super duper expensive. Uh, Enzo's 519k. That'd be one to keep an eye out on too. But yeah, these level up cards, man, I would just keep eyeing them. And if you're trying to get a, uh, a games done, what I've been saying too is if you can afford the card and you don't mind maybe losing tax um, because that's a common thing with these cards, you go play a few games, maybe you have a couple of games left. I wouldn't wait for the price to drop. I would just tell you to go out literally to buy the card, get the card you need to play the games with and get the games done because then you don't have to worry about it. We've got more cards that are coming out this next week that are probably going to take some demand away from some of these other cards. And it's, you're not going to want to grind cards from last week too much um, when there's new ones that have come out. So get the games in that you want to get in now. Uh, like I'm working on Sterling. I'm doing Shalhana Glue right now and um, Cavani all at the same time with this squad right here. So get those squad battles games in, get those D rivals games in and uh, combine as much as you can uh, because it's going to be the same thing this next week uh, and hopefully maybe even a bit more like we're trying to say with the combinations 
of these level up cards. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. I'm going to work on Renato, uh, road, road to Renato or Renato to Glory, I guess. We're going to try to make some more coins so that we can afford Renato and potentially get that card on our account this week. It's going to, it's going to be a grind, uh, but I think we're going to be able to pull that one off and it should be fun and it's just it just kind of gives you something to like aim for and to shoot for and it gives you a goal right that's why i was excited to trade yesterday because it had a newfound motivation and something as little as that can sometimes just flip a switch and be like okay this is going to make fun, fifa fun for me right now um going back out to the market watching price fluctuations traded with alaba yesterday right if i see him for 300k they like that one on bid i'm definitely going to try to buy that again the strikers that dropped yesterday i knew that some of them were rare and we're going to bounce back so we looked at those tots cards move every single day they're so good to trade with uh, they fluctuate a ton like this alexis sanchez was just 300k now he's 340,000 coins again so i'm looking all over the market right now just to make a quick flip and it's fun and i'm kind of back in the trading grind again for at least right now because uh we are chasing after that renato sanchez and uh, to get that games done for the upgraded version. So that's the video for today, guys. Again, if you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a YouTube video tomorrow. And of course, the stream today. Link down below in the description. Check out all the other channels there. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.